Hi, I'm Tushar from Pratham's Skilling Team. As I look forward to the launch of ASA 2023, I think I should think of three main areas of research that I really am looking forward to. I feel understanding their aspirations and their current uh, capability in terms of reading, understanding and comprehension as well as math mathematics is something will be very useful, which will be very useful to us in uh, making new courses that can give them entry level jobs into fields of their aspiration. The second thing that I really, really look forward to is the bit on uh, the digital readiness of India's youth. Uh, these 14 to 18 year olds who were surveyed will be entering the labor force across the 2020 to 2030 decade. And this decade, a lot of people are already calling it the decade of open AI technology and how technology will create jobs as well as take away jobs. So tech, the digital readiness of India's youth, especially rural youth, oh, will actually be decided, will actually decide how ready for employment they are, and especially what kind of jobs they will be getting as they enter the labor force. And lastly, I would like to know the gender aspect or the gender lens through which we can look at as a data, especially because the labor force participation rate of women is less than half as that of men in India. And while there are multiple reasons like early marriage, social myths, uh, as, and, and stereotypes around women, uh, I look forward to how women see themselves in the future, especially the young girls who have seen their mothers not go out for work, who have seen their fathers migrate out for work, uh, and how they see themselves, how conditioned they are by society, and how willing are they to break those stereotypes around their gender. So these are the three main things, aspiration and capabilities gap, digital readiness and how women see themselves are three things that I really look forward to from this year's as a launch.